Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Zach Designs here. Welcome back to another free Friday video and a Roxon how to tutorial. This is going to be the furniture mechanic. We're going to be giving away free furniture. It's going to be the stool furniture that I created for a Roxon. Now, they're not going to be adding it, so you will have to add it manually as this is going to be a tutorial as well for the Roxon series. All right, so let's get into block blend. It's on your mind. All right, so let's get into block bench here today. So, what we want to do is basically start showing you guys how to edit this if you guys are going to be downloading or purchasing any models or anything and you guys don't know how to use one besides the one we have today that I'm basically providing for free. So this one, you have your whole model set up that you may be purchased or downloaded or gotten for free and now you got to go to the display settings so it displays perfectly. Of course you want to display perfectly in the right hand. You don't have to copy these settings, whatever looks perfect to you. This is what you're going to be seeing when you look at, a, when you look at another character. This is what you're going to see as a zombie and it should all even out once you do it for the player model and then third person less you'll have to do it as well and then first person right is what it's going to be looking like when you are in first person mode so let's say for example it is on the right hand then this is what where and what it will look like and then first person left and then as well as the head if you're going to do like a command where you can use a block and do slash hat or even make it a hat if you would like um, and then on the ground, of course, if you drop the item and then the item frame is actually the the configuration or the schematic and what they use to go ahead and configure these for Roxon. So this is how I have it set up. Now you can do any height, any size that you want. This is a perfect size for the Roxon model, especially on the zero zero axis. This perfect size where it is in between and uh, all the sorts so this works for the zero zero axis of course you can change the axis as I've done it in uh, seats that I've added to some configurations so this one here what we want to go ahead and do is just export it what we can also do is X or change the GUI as well what I can do is make it look 3d or actually yeah make it look 3d what we want to do is rotate it sideways like that and then we can rotate it down a little bit more like that and so it looks cool in the gui as well and uh, also the cream table Oop, didn't mean to do that and so what we can do is file save and it's saved as the stool rocks and now let's go so let's go ahead and get into the coding now and i'm going to get on sublime this is going to be the prefab that i give you guys here today and this is the one that we're going to be configuring configuring for the stool for the eroxin so what you can name it as is anything i'm going to name it as stool and then here is the either color name or hex code that you guys want to do what i'm going to be adding is uh, stool and then what you guys can do is the material doesn't matter keep it as a paper just like the other ones facing up of course because that is what our model is and that is the item frame is facing up excuse me and then the barrier is true so it does have the barrier so when you do jump on it and everything and then the seat and the height and the yaw so the height is basically how far up or down you're sitting and then same for the yaw i believe as well but what you can do is go negative like five negative ten and go below the surface i would do it in decimals as well because if you are doing it maybe at half a block, I would do maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and test it out so you're not suffocating the user as well. So what we're going to keep it at is 0, 0 because of the height and way I modeled it. And then, of course, the model name and everything that falls through. So the model name, what we're going to go ahead and do is name it to what I have it on my Termius panel, which is going to be right here when I select my host and I connect and go to pack or sorry item or not pack, sorry pack models default and i think i have a oh, stool or rocks in so whatever your model name is called is what you're gonna what you're gonna put there so stool or rocks in, and then save right or you can add it of course to your blocks yml which is right here as well stool and then also you want to change the Eroxon item for the loots here. Of course, you want it to drop the same item that you created here, which is the stool. Add the, of course, our default model. So wherever your model is, for example, the stool that you're going to be downloading, you want to put it here in your default area. And then for the textures that you download as well, the textures are just going to go into the default area. 
And this is where you're going to see the Cush, which is C-U-S-H right there. And then we also have, I think, the wood stool, which is down below as well. Yeah, wood stool. So there. And then now what you want to do is drag over the item and update the item. If you add it to your blocks, you just re uh, replace it. And then you're good to go. So now what you can do is go through a Roxon and do so. Now, if you guys did download something or made anything in block pinch, what you also want to do is open or open up the uh, JSON and or saved JSON file that you made in block bench or that you downloaded it or purchased. Because what you want to do here is change where the textures are located. For example, default Kush, where is <laughs> that is pretty funny. So Kush for the cushion, which is going to be where that texture is located. Same for this, the stool down below, default. And then there is a particle apparently. So you want to do the particle or sorry, particle and default. So I was having a tongue t twister there and you want to change those all the default. And then of course you can do the credits, but credits don't come up unfortunately as well. All right, so welcome back. We are now on the server here, if you guys can't tell. And now we can go into our inventory through a Roxon. We can go to the blocks YML and we will be able to see the stool. It looks a little difficult here, but we can see the stool and now we can place it. So this is what it looks like in the right hand. This is what it looks like in third person mode. And then here, this is what it looks like when it's placed down. Oh, that's uh, rotated, but here we're on it. But let's break it and do it that way. So this is what it looks like on the ground. Pretty nice, cool. This is what it looks like when we sit on top. Perfect, I mean the cape goes through, but we are perfectly on top. Looks great. And it's just a normal stool, just like you guys can see on like Origin Realms or uh, any of the other servers that you guys may be seeing these new custom items being added on. This is something you guys can also keep for yourself and use freely as I'm giving you guys this item for free to add on to any client. This is a free Minecraft object that you guys can use to any plugin, especially. I do know there's other item adding plugins such as the free items adder plugin that they do give and then a rocks and they do have that plugin. And there could be some other plugins out there as well that you can add this onto or just specifically add it into Minecraft through a mod. So if you guys wanna go ahead and download this, don't forget to check that out in the description below. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next episode. Thank you and bye-bye.